this side here appear to be under a lot more tension than the driver's side. So I think I gave it a one and a half turn. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen these two nuts here. Same for the other side. Give this a little bit of movement and then I'm gonna lower the hood. And again, that usually helps me kind of get these somewhat centered. Then I tighten them a little more and uh, say a prayer or two. I think it goes like this whenever you lower the hood and the latch kind of connects with this portion um, and I can't show you because I got the camera set up on a tripod there but um, anyway it tends to kind of move this a little bit just enough to um, kind of kind of center it in relation to the to the latch, according to my theory anyway. And then I carefully raise the hood again, and then I tighten these. And that has worked for the most part in the past. So I gotta do, let me see if I can get this tripod right here. I repositioned it. I know I'm kind of being repetitive here because See, you have the two nuts on that side. And I'm gonna do basically the same thing. Sometimes all you need is just a tiny tiny adjustment so anyway this little tripod has been pretty cool um so let me try to I reconnected everything, tightened the uh, <laughs> tightened the bolts, and repositioned my seal here. So let me see if I can do this safely. Ouch! And then you see what I what I'm doing here is. Allowing this to uh, and again maybe I'm totally misguided with my approach but that kind of sort of in theory anyway aligns a little bit the uh, the striker plates So, and again, I may have to adjust them again to see how how the tension of the of the striker um, the strikers are um, affecting upon the um, the latches, and also if this got too too much out of whack, I don't think it should. But anyway, I'm gonna raise the hood up again, and uh, then I'm gonna tighten those those. Um, 
striker blades and then um, we'll go for gold and latch the hood. Wish me luck. Alrighty. Let's give this a, a shot. There's uh, I noticed earlier, forgot to mention, since this hood moved about an eighth of an inch closer to the front, seems to be rubbing a little bit against one of the hoses for the um, for the driver's side actuator. I don't think it's a big deal, but let me see if you can hear it. So, something to keep an eye on, I guess. Just notice that little uh, squeaky sound, so. And if you hear other squeaky kind of sounds, it might be, it may be coming from me if this doesn't unlatch when I, when I pull the uh, release. Okay, that's pretty good. And it kind of dips a little bit here, but again, these things are just, they're not metal, so. Of course, I got fingerprints all over my, my freshly washed Corvette. Oh Lord. Oh, that, that was a little bit, oh wow. Uh, I didn't like that, wow. That was a little bit too tight here. And these, these edges now, this one is, is kind of way out. Oh my gosh, I didn't like that, how that sounded. But it opened, Woo! Maybe it's because I usually latch this side first. Oh my goodness. So yeah, let me be... I mean, I'm talking... Sixteenth of an inch or something like that. I guess again, I, I went up a little bit, but I kind of like it. And here, the front, it looks so much better. Wow! I'll show you in a minute. Now this side is is pretty pretty proud here. About that's about an eighth of an inch. So I may have to tighten that one, that striker a little bit. Just not a big deal. Uh, actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I, I don't want to try to bend that thing because next thing you know, it cracks and or breaks. Yeah, this one has to go down about a half a turn, I think. <laughs> I am so happy I didn't lock myself out of the. Uh, the motor, so. Cool beans. Let me uh, do a couple more adjustments and I'll be back.
Right now I'm in the process of removing the uh, the latches. I already did that one. The reason being, and I, I don't know if this is gonna be easy to explain, but anyway, about five years ago when I was adjusting the hood, I decided that instead of messing around so much with this, what I did is I made this gasket, so to speak, and um, that one is already in place. I made new ones actually, and uh, I didn't install for whatever reason. And uh, they're not much, but I, um, this one goes in here, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Brings down the latch just a little bit. It acts as, a, instead of a gasket, think of it as a, as a, as a big shim. It's made out of a gasket material. Um, seems to help. Latch is a lot easier. And if need be, I'm gonna tighten these another half turn because I don't like it's just the the, the very end here of the of the hood just kind of sticks up up too much. And you know, I, I, again, I'm being picky, but that's the whole idea. You know, you do these things for a reason. Um, I think I also. Fix that problem with the uh, the rubbing. I just took a chance and I bent this just sixteenth of an inch. I don't want to break or crack that uh, little little pipe. So anyway, let me uh, install this one, see how it looks, and then I may have to again one last time adjust these uh, strikers. Oh, and uh, actually when I when I took out the uh, the old um, spacers, gaskets, whatever, that I had made years ago, I didn't like, they were like a butcher paper kind of color, like a brownish. And um, yeah, I call me picky. It's, uh, so I made new ones and I have a, I believe I filmed that, so I may dig, dig that up and uh, post in case, you know, some of you are interested in doing something along those lines or just use washers. Um, a gasket is it's a lot easier because when you remove this, it's one piece, you don't have stuff falling out from, from there all over the place. But anyway, let me get busy and uh, I'll be back soon. See, this is what I'm talking about. Otherwise it's lined up pretty, pretty nicely. But, um, and this is fully latched. Same thing from this, from this side. Even this line is pretty, pretty good. We really talked about how this turned out. That looks really good. And it's no longer robbing when I open the hood. So one more time, I am going to uh, tighten those strikers and uh, Hate to do that, but I want to, you know, line up best I can. So let me try that and see what happens. Alrighty, so that's I think as as good as I can get it right now. I um, I've wasted enough time messing with it. If I play with it too much, it just won't latch properly. And um, same thing for this side. It is better, it's far from, from uh, perfect, but it is what it is. But that's minutia, as my mom used to say. So, I think for, for now it'll do. Again, very pleased with how this turned out. Very nice gap and all, no rubbing. So that is always good. You don't want to start chipping paint. And the gap, even though it's far from perfect on both sides, it's not too shabby, so. Anyway, 
So that was my adventures of trying to adjust the, the hood, the hood latches, and all that good stuff. Now I have to uh, give it a little bit of a, of a cleaning because I've got fingerprints all over the place. So anyway, if you have any comments, let me know. If you have any ideas, suggestions, please share, share them with me and everybody else. Um, I thought about adding um, washers to the, to the latches, you know, in addition to, the, to that gasket that I fabricated. But frankly, I'm just kind of tired of messing with it. So this will be it for now. But again, if you have any comments or any suggestions of what to do, um, please let me know. And thanks in advance. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys later.